So before we move on to new functionality, I would like to fix a few things with the respawning of the monsters. Because if we play the game now, um, the monsters will spawn and they will die at some point. But as we can see, when we respawn the monsters for second wave, um, there are a few issues. First of all, the monster spawns behind the portal sometimes and the health bar actually going behind the towers here. And also the towers didn't retake this as a target when it, it moved past, right? Because it has full health and they never attacked him. So those are the things that we are going to fix in this video. So the first thing I would like to address is the issue with the retargeting of the monsters. If we open up the um, tower, um, what's called script, we will see we had an untrigger into that adds the monster to a queue and an untrigger ex exit that sets the target to null. So right now when we have a target, the monster is moving through and if the target dies or gets out of range, we are not um, doing anything about that. We are only here if the target is null, well, then, then we... Um, we simply retarget, so that works. So, so we have something that handles out of range. But what if the target dies? As we saw before, there are two monsters that spawned, and the first monster died. So uh, we didn't retake the next target. So we need to make a functional some functionality here. So the first thing we have to do is to say if, or oh, let's make an else if actually. I think that makes more sense. So else if our monsters that count is larger than zero. So if we have a target and the target is active, then we are attacking it here. But else if, that means if we don't have a target and the monster count is larger than zero, then we say target equals monsters.dq. Okay. We also need to take into account what should happen if a monster is dead, right? So we need to be able to check if the monster, if our target dot health or something is larger than zero, right? So the easiest way to do this would be to go to our monster script, go all the way to the top here and make a public pool called is alive. Well, it's just called alive. And we're just going to get return health larger than zero. So oh, it's not be a pool, it should be Oh, it should be a bool, I mean, um, it should be health.current value, that's why. So return health.current value larger than zero. So this will return true if our health is larger than zero, which is alive is true. If the health is larger, um, or isn't larger than zero, well, then it alive is false, so he's dead. So we can go back to tower, and in here we can actually make a uh, if statement that said if, if, uh, our target isn't null. So if we have a target and that target isn't alive, so we are making an exclamation mark here, so if he isn't alive, then we need to say target equals null. So if we have a target and the target is dead, then we set our target to null, which means that in the next uh, rotation of update or next execution of update, we will take a new target because this code here will execute. So if we save this and we try to spawn a wave with two monsters, then we should have some um, retargeting here right away. Let's try. Take the first monster, it spawns, and we should be able to kill it here. There we go. And when it's gone, we can start the next wave. And now we should be able to kill the first monster and retarget the next one right away. And there we go. So now you can see they target the red monster right away. But we still have the issues where it's spawning behind the portal and the health bar is behind the tower. So to fix the health bar is pretty easy. If we go to prefabs and monster and we open them up, you'll see that there's a health canvas here which has a order in layer is zero. So basically just set the order in layer on all these to five, for example, because I would like them to be on top of everything. Um, maybe not on top of the bottoms. Let's actually see what we have canvas. Let's see what are our buttons. Our buttons are set to um, sort order zero, and these are that's a canvas. Let's see a canvas. Yeah. Okay. So it's two different things: sort order, overlay, and 
the other canvas is world space so it's called order and layer instead so let's simply just leave this at 5 to see 5 or maybe not 5 actually it's just we can mark them all here and say it's maybe 2 and then we can take the canvas here with all the buttons and stuff and set it to 3 or something let's just make sure okay so if we play the game now and we see what happens if we spawn away with a little more monsters then the health bar shouldn't be behind the towers anymore at least we can already kinda see it let's try to play one more <clears throat> let's see and the health bar should go over these towers and there we go so now the health bar is not hidden behind the towers anymore so that's another issue fixed so the other thing is the fact that they spawn behind the portal and we basically just need to go to the monster and do something to the on trigger enter here because inside the on trigger enter we can actually make sure every time they enter a new tile their sorting order or sort layer will be uh, changed so that they will render in front of stuff behind them right so right now we have it i think we have it for the towers already based on where we're placing them the towers let's see there was something sort let's see if i can find it sorting order minus minus that's a monster when it dies let's see yeah so that minus minus i guess that's what is is ruining it for us because we're never adding anything to the sorting order so let's see here if we go to monster and go to the on trigger insert function here we can say if other dot tag is a tile so if we hit a tile then i want to say that the sprite renderer which we don't have right now so we need to make a reference to the monster sprite renderer because we need to take the monster here access the sprite renderer here and change this layer based on where it is in the game world so if the monster is walking around on these tiles it's zero when it walks down here it gets one because then if, if for example if um, let's see if I can do this if there is a tower here and the monster walks here I want this monster down here to be rendered in front of the tower so every time I go down I increase the sorting order so if it's, if it's one here it goes down here it's two and the tower here has has one so the monster will be rendered in front of the tower I hope that makes sense so let's see we need to do that so we go to the monster and we need to make a private renderer a uh, sprite renderer my sprite renderer actually we just call it sprite renderer we need to set it so in a way we can say sprite renderer equals get component sprite renderer just because we need to exit it all the time so there's no point of us to call this all the time so we can just make a reference in the beginning so um, the sprite renderer here needs to be used and we need to use it inside our on trigger enter if I can find it there we can say sprite renderer dot sorting order equals other dot get component tile tile script dot yeah, what is it we need? We need to get the position, so grid position dot y. So the sorting order is equal to the grid position of the tile. And we can do that because the grid position is called, this one is 0 0.1, I 1.0. This one is 1.1. So we can take the y value of each tile and apply it to the sorting order layer here. And that's exactly what we're doing here. Right now we're checking for the tile tag. Well, if I go to my prefabs and go to tiles, we'll see that they don't have a tag on them. So we need to click and add tag and write a new tag called tile. So we have that. So we can go to our prefabs one more time, go to the tiles, select all of them and tag them all as tile. You can see they all have a tile tag now. So if I play the game now, we should be able to respawn 
the monster in front of the portal. Let's try. It's working. And if I click next wave, it should spawn in front of the portal. It didn't. So you can see it spawned behind the portal right now. So let's just do a little, make a little change here just to make sure. So we will put all our tiles here. The sorting order layer is minus one. Let's put them at minus two, all the tiles, and then go to the portals. Ah, not controllers, the portals here, and put them as a sorting order minus one, just to make sure. And let's see what happens now. Now the monster should spawn in front, if I remember to save also. Uh, save. Let's try again. And let's see. And this one spawned in front of the portal. Let's see if we have the same spawn again. Because the problem was whenever one of the monsters that already died uh, respawned. And now I didn't manage to kill this one. <laughs> so maybe I should set some more uh, towers up so we can kill the whole wave. Um, yeah, let's wait for this one to finish. There we go. Let's just set some more towers here. So that we are actually able to kill whatever comes out. So blue one, yeah, it's born in front of the portal, purple one in front of the portal, and the red one also. So it seems to be working now, all the things. So now we actually have a working spawning mechanic. That's all we needed to do in this video. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. Also, um, if you want to support me, you can support me in different ways. You can support me on Patreon and if you do so, then you'll get every single project that I've created. And you can also support me on, uh, on sales by getting one of the projects that I've created. So thank you very much for watching.